All right, now let's add a new module to this application. So I'm going to add a new file, logger.js. Let's imagine we're going to create a module for login messages, and we're going to reuse this module in various parts of this application or potentially in other applications. So logger.js. Now in this module, let's imagine that we're going to use one of those remote login services for logging our messages. So there are websites out there that provide logging as a service. They give us a URL and we can send an HTTP request to that URL to log messages in the cloud. So here I'm going to declare a variable like URL and set it to something like this, HTTP mylogger.io slash log. And of course I'm making this up. It may not be a true service out there, but let's imagine in this implementation, we're going to send an HTTP request to this endpoint, to this URL. Now we also need a function called log that takes a message. And in this function, we're going to send an HTTP request. However, to keep things simple here, we just want to focus on the modularity. We don't want to get distracted with all the details of sending HTTP requests. So for now, I just want to log this message on the console. So console.log message. Okay. Now, this variable and this log function, they're both scoped to this module. They're private. They're not visible from the outside. However, in app.js, which is our main module, we want to use this logger module. So we should be able to access this log function. We should be able to call it from the app module. So we need to make this public. We need to make it visible from the outside. Now, in the last lecture, you saw this module object. One of the properties we have here is exports. You can see this property is set to an empty object. Anything that we add to this object will be exported from this module and it will be available outside of this module. So back in our logger module, I'm going to set module.exports.log. So I'm adding a method called log to this exports object and simply setting it to this log function we have defined here. Okay. In other words, the object that we're exporting here has a single method called log. Now, similarly, if you want to export this URL, we could do something like this. So module.exports.url, we set it to URL. And of course, we could change the name that is exported to the outside. For example, internally, we may call this variable URL, but when we export it, we may call it endpoint. Okay. Now, in this case, we don't need to export this URL variable because this is purely implementation detail. So in real world applications, every module might have several variables and functions. We only want to export a subset of these members to the outside because we want to keep this module easy to use. Let me give you a metaphor. Think of a DVD player. A DVD player has a few buttons on the outside, and these are the buttons or objects that we interact with. So these objects represent the public interface of a DVD player, okay? But inside the box, there are lots of other objects or complex objects. We don't need to know anything about these objects. They're implementation detail, and they can change significantly from one model to another. But what we see on the outside is almost stable or static across different models. So in our logger module, this URL is implementation detail. Other modules don't need to know anything about this. They only need to call the log function. So we export this, make it public, but keep the URL private. So I'm going to delete this last line. Okay. So we're done with our logger module. Now we need to load this module and use it inside app.js. Hi guys, it's Mosh here. Thank you for watching my Node tutorial. 
I just wanted to let you know that this video you've been watching is part of my complete Node course where you will learn everything about Node from the basic to the advanced topics. If you're serious about learning Node, I highly recommend you to enroll in my Node course because this is much faster than jumping from one tutorial to another. It saves you time. Plus, you're going to get a lot of exercises that will prepare you for the real world. And also, at the end of the course, you will receive a certificate of completion that you can provide to your current or future employer. So if you want to enroll, click on the link in the video description. I hope to see you in the course.